You've been on Zepbound or Manjaro for several months now. Now you're past those first few starter doses. The problem is you're not seeing weight loss. And you've heard the stories of so many people dropping weight like crazy on these medicines. And for some, it happens right away. So it's frustrating. I'm going to answer three questions. One, when which should you expect to see weight loss from Zepbound or Manjaro? Two, what is a slow responder? And three, what are the chances that Zepbound or Manjaro actually won't work for you for weight loss? Hi, I'm Vina. I'm a board certified pharmacist in the US with over 20 years of experience. So when can you expect to lose weight with terzepatide, which is just the active ingredient name of Manjaro and Zepbound? Well, doctors at John Hopkins University looked into exactly that, and here is what they found. They looked at a group of 1,545 people taking terzepatide, and they checked their weight at week 12. People that had lost 5% or more of their body weight by week 12 were considered early responders. Those that lost less than 5% of their body weight by week 12 were called slow responders. Out of the 1,545 people, 82% were early responders and 18% were slow responders. Let me know in the comments if you're an early responder or a slow responder. Keep in mind that the cutoff of 5% for weight loss is important. It's because weight loss is considered clinically meaningful if you lose at least 5% of your baseline weight. Significant, meaningful health benefits can occur with just a 5% weight loss. Let's focus on this group called slow responders who lost either no weight or very little weight by week 12. If you are a slow responder, then when can you expect to lose weight that's considered meaningful? By week 24, which is enough time to titrate all the way up to the highest dose, 70% of the slow responder group achieved clinically meaningful weight loss. And here's the great news. By week 72, 90% of the slow responders achieved that clinically meaningful weight loss, meaning 5% or more weight loss from their original body weight. And the majority of those slow responders actually ended up losing 10% or more of their body weight. This chart shows a breakdown of the slow responders and where they ended up. But no matter where you are on this chart, you're a success because losing at least 5% of your body weight is healthy. The average time it took for those slow responders to achieve that clinically meaningful weight loss was 24.8 weeks. Now that's almost six months. So hang in there. Even if you are a slow responder, you may end up having pretty significant weight loss, much more usually than the 5%. You might be wondering if there was something different about the slow responders versus the early responders. And yes, it turns out there was, and this part actually surprised me. The slow responders were somewhat more likely to be male, have a higher starting body weight, a higher BMI, and a larger waist circumference. By the way, if you're getting value from this video, please let me know by liking the video or leaving me a comment. So if you have not lost weight by 12 weeks, hang in there. Just keep titrating up on your dose. For you, it might be a marathon, not a sprint. But notice that it was 90% of slow responders that eventually had success, not 100%. So what if you get to 72 weeks and you haven't lost at least 5% of your body weight? For unexplained reasons, some people don't lose weight taking this kind of medication. But there are four possible reasons that could contribute to failed weight loss with medications like terzepatide and its cousin medicine, semaglutide. If you want to learn more about those four reasons, you can watch this video next. If there's a topic you would like covered by a pharmacist in a future video, please give me your suggestion in the comments. I welcome you to subscribe and ring the bell if you want notifications when I release a new video.